Greetings, Apostles for White Well-Being. I apologize for my uh, <laughs> lack of cleanly appearance right now. Just ate some pasta. You might be able to tell. My apologies about that. Um, but just saw something that warranted a video right away. Couldn't wait. So all my love to Wilhelmina and Matthew Bayer, the Blue Ninja 2. And Brad C. The Blue Ninja 3. And all my best to everybody out there. Um, I got a positive message here, folks. Good news. And it may not appear so on the surface. Or strictly speaking. But there is a big silver lining here. And a silver lining uh, that is we will win this war. This this war for our well-being for western kind and our people we will come out ultimately victorious no matter how many hiccups along the way that is the huge and obviously most important silver lining is that even with relatively small um, setbacks or maybe even larger setbacks like what i'm about to describe Ultimately, we're going to win, folks, and we will have our well-being. And here is an indication of that that I want to encourage everybody with. So it's going to seem bad, and it is bad, strictly speaking, on the surface, what I'm about to share, which is anti-whiteism uh, in a form that we're all very all too familiar with. Um, but... The silver lining is what this is an indication of in the big picture. So keep that in mind. Um, so I was just watching some football, soccer highlights here, British Premier League. And haven't noticed anything too anti-white on, on the highlights that I've watched since I've been here. Nothing that really stood out too bad. Um, but of course, speaking of, uh, what I mentioned on the last couple of videos that Brad C, um, brilliantly clued me in on about the other video from 2011, talking about white erasure in, uh, London, um, England. So speaking yet again of Britain, um, we know there's Britain is the government and so forth. The powers that be are extremely anti-white there. We all know this, of course. And we know that there's nothing out of bounds as far as where they, where they will put anti-white messages, sporting events or anything else. We know there's nothing out of bounds for them. So we can find anti-white messages in the most unexpected or odd places many times. Um, but we've come to expect that now. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm just watching some, some soccer football highlights here, British Premier League. And um, we, know, we know the situation over there is very, very bad. A lot of white erasure. A uh, very significantly reduced number of whites, significantly reduced white population there to uh, alarmingly low levels. The native white British population uh, in the past several decades and particularly in the last decade or two. And uh, we all know this is being done and has been done intentionally by anti-whites they control things there just like they do throughout the west so we all know that of course um britain being very very anti-white now <clears throat> um and in a very bad condition as far as the condition of the white western native british population there so we all know this um 
and it's going to come as no huge shock, the anti-whiteism that I just saw, because um, we've seen stuff like this in America, in throughout the West, really. So this particular set of highlights, this particular game, English uh, Premier League, I was kind of shocked that I hadn't seen anything up to this point. I've been at this apartment where I'm at for about a week now. I've been watching sports pretty much every day. <laughs> and you just come to expect anti-whiteism in, in any Western country now. And I was kind of a little bit surprised that I didn't see anything too overtly crazy. Um, but until tonight, <laughs> um, we know it's only a matter of time these days before anti-whites rear their ugly heads pretty much everywhere you turn. But, um, one thing that is very, very disgusting, very, very overt that I just saw a few minutes ago is this one big time, uh, soccer match football match, British Premier League, as big as it gets, packed stadium and everything. And I noticed they have these big signs, huge, much bigger than the normal ads you see on the sidelines of these games. It was up high in the stands and it was big, very, very big, huge lettering. And what did it say? You can all guess. It said, fight racism or something to that effect help fight racism uh i don't think this one was stop racism this was a little more aggressive it was something like fight i think fight r-a-c-i-s-m or help to fight it and we've seen this a lot. I've seen, we've probably all seen this in America, uh, in all kinds of sporting events, wh whether it be professional soccer, football, American football, basketball, you name it. And there's, I mean, the NBA was sponsored by, uh, <laughs> uh, was, was sort of sponsored by uh, MLB, that anti-white terrorist organization. Um, Spelled backwards there, of course. So, you know, the, the overt, really loud, in-your-face, big-time type of anti-whiteism is nothing new to us in the West. Definitely for us uh, Americans, we've seen every sporting organization and, and pretty much everything taken over by this stuff these days. So, stuff like that is very shocking, but... It is um, nothing new for us. Um, anyhow, it, it is disgusting every single time I see it, and it should be for all of us when you see something that heinously anti-white, that big, that loud, that public, that in everybody's face. It's shameful. It's embarrassing. It's angering. In Britain, a country that was founded by white people and they put and there now is signs that are so against white people the native stock there so against and so public that <clears throat> it's just sickening that it's gotten to that state now as we know a lot of people uh still don't quite understand what that means. We know that R-I-C-I-S-M is basically just, is just an anti-white slur referring to white people. So that is just a code for white people, as we know, R-I-C-I-S-M. So anything that's against or anti-R-I-C-I-S-M, we know very well that that's just anti or against white people. Any common, everyday, average white person and all white people. So, um, we know that. Um, so when they say, uh, stand against or stop or fight R-A-C-I-S-M, we know, of course, what they're really saying is fight against white people. 
just your average, everyday, well-to-do white person and all white people. Nothing extreme, nothing out of the ordinary. Good old-fashioned, salt-of-the-earth white people. Every single last one of us. Stand or fight against or whatever. R-A-C-I-S-M is just fight or help in the fight against white people. Simple as that. We all know this. So that's what's sick when you understand what that really means and how to decode it. Now, all we have to do in those type of situations, folks, and here's where I'm going to get to the positive. If I was at that game or if I was at an event where anything was put up like that, you're at a sporting event and you see these humongous, biggest banners in the entire stadium stand or fight against RACISM or whatever, what do we do? What I would do and what all of us would do because we have hearts and we have minds and we have courage is we would turn to our buddy or even a stranger next to us is exactly what I would do. And I would say, hey, it, white people is who we want to talk to here. I would find the nearest white person, whether it be my friend, a stranger, whoever. And I would say, hey. You know what that really means? It just means fight white people. It just means stand against white people. It just means be anti or against whites. It just means hate and harm whites more. Erase whites more. That's just against white people. That's what that means. R-A-C-I-S-M is just a code word for white people. It's a derogatory code word for white people. And that's all we got to do is just explain to people that's what that really means. It's just anti-white. It's just anti-whiteism. They're just trying to fire everyone up to fight against whites more. To harm and erase whites more. All we got to do is let people know that. That's what that really means. And we've done our job. We've helped wake another white person up or multiple white people up. And we're that much closer to our recaptured destiny and our well-being once again. So now here's where I'm going to get to the really positive stuff, folks. We all know all that, of course, and we, are, we all probably can easily see what I'm about to say as well. But this is encouraging. The real highlight here, folks, that this just drove home to me is that this confirms, folks, that here's the real silver lining. This confirms that R-A-C-I-S-M, that word, that anti-white philosophy, that's all they got, folks. That's all the anti-whites have in their tool bag left. That's the last and biggest weapon they have against us. After all this time, we know they're pulling out everything they can against us. All weapons, all tools. They're going for broke. And after all this time, after everything they've thrown at us, they're sticking with that harder than ever. Why? Because that's all they got, folks. They're, they're out. They're out of ideas. They're out of weapons. They're out of everything. That's that's it. They are they are done. That's that's the best thing they can throw at us. Is that word R A C I S M. So the fact that they have used it for so long and they've just increased its usage as we white positives grow in number and strength, it just tells us that's all they got. As we grow 
and spread white positivity and white well-being and defeat anti-whiteism, all they do is just keep using that RACISM more and more. So that's what it tells us, folks. That's what we can interpret from that. That is what that indicates. When that when we're we're growing as white positive, they see this. They silence us as much as they can. They keep it out of the public eye as much as they can. But they know it. So they'll go in public and try to fight us because they're cowards. They won't ever face us directly. So they'll just put their response using their big, big, visible media. And they'll just put their stuff out there more and more. Why are they increasing their anti-whiteism? Because of our growth. So that's the first positive. When we see anti-whiteism increasing, it's a positive indication that happens because we are getting stronger. And the other big positive folks is what are they, what are they using all, more and more almost exclusively now? RACISM, that's where they're putting more and more of their marbles. Because that is the best thing they have to throw at us, folks. So that's the most powerful thing they've ever thrown at us, that they've ever used against us, and that they still use against us. It's, it's still just the best thing in their bag. That's it. They don't have anything more. They don't have anything more powerful than that. They don't have anything else. That's their best, folks. That is all we're going to see out of them. So they're just trying to make that bigger and bigger and just amplify it more and more. Because that's all they got, folks. It's all they got to counter, to counter us with as we grow. They just keep putting that word bigger and bigger. That's all they can do. So that obviously, folks, is the silver lining. That's the big plus here to take away from this. They are, they are spent. So why is this a huge silver lining? Well, obviously, because we can defeat that. We know that we can defeat that. How? By calling it an anti-white slur by saying that it's a derogatory term for white people. It is a code word for white people, R-A-C-I-S-M, that's all. It is anti-whiteism. We defeat it. So they're showing us by putting it louder and louder and louder on sporting events, bigger and bigger, the biggest billboards money can buy at the biggest sporting events around. They're putting huge, massive, I mean, to put a put something like that up at a Premier League British football game, soccer game, is definitely in the millions. I mean, could be in the tens of millions for something like that. Just a guess. But that is big time money to put those messages out. And they're putting that big time money into basically just the R word. Trying to push that more than ever. That's it, folks. That's the silver lining. That's all we're going to see out of them. Forever after. They're just going to keep crying R-A-C-I-S-T, R-A-C-I-S-T, R-A-C-I-S-M. At us all the way until their dying day. Until they are defeated. And defeated they will be. Defeated they are. They are being defeated. That is what that tells us. They're telling us that, look, this is all we got. Just one last hurrah. They're dying gasp. And we are going to make sure that it is their last hurrah. And that anti-whiteism never rears its head like it's done so horribly the last how many decades 
Thanks to us, we are making sure it never, ever happens again. We are defeating anti-whiteism once and for all and bringing peace and prosperity and white well-being to our people once again. Amen and hallelujah. Long live Western kind. I love you all. God bless each and every one. Stay strong, stay white positive, white free, white protective, and white proud, white resilient, white defiant, and white pure. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ.